Jost fifth wheels are designed to give you years of reliable service with only minimum maintenance required. Features such as the infinite adjustment screw and the remote grease fittings extend the usability of the entire assembly. In the event that you need to repair or replace parts on your Jost fifth wheel, its design, with just four moving parts in the locking mechanism, makes repair or replacement a simple process. And whether you're performing a minor rebuild or rebuilding the entire top plate assembly, it can be done on or off the truck. Disassembly of your Jost fifth wheel takes less than five minutes and requires readily available tools. Part replacement and reassembly can be accomplished in as little as 10 to 15 minutes. For demonstration purposes only, we have removed the top plate from the truck so that the required steps are easy to see. Your Jost fifth wheel can be repaired just as easily while the top plate is mounted on the vehicle. Before attempting to rebuild, review the troubleshooting hints in the rebuild manual. You may find that rebuilding is not necessary. Rebuilding should be considered when all of the available adjustment is used and a lock tester moves fore and aft one-eighth of an inch when properly locked in the fifth wheel. Examine the top plate surface. If the surface is worn down to the grease groove at any point, the top plate should not be rebuilt. It should be discarded. Another method to determine if rebuilding is recommended is to remove and measure two parts. The first is the cushion ring. It should be replaced if the dimension across the center is worn to 0.69 inches. The lock jaw should also be measured. Replace this if it is also worn to 0.69 inches at the thinnest part of the lock finger. If both parts are worn close to their minimum dimensions, rebuilding is advisable. In many cases, it is not necessary to replace all parts. A minor rebuild such as replacing the lock jaw, the cushion ring, and the associated hardware can be done. Individual replacement parts are available through Jost. All of the following steps can be done with the top plate on the vehicle. If you are removing the top plate from the vehicle, begin by using a suitable lifting device to place the top plate upside down on a table, or, as we have done for this demonstration, on a stand. Close the locking mechanism. Then, using a suitable tool, remove the double coil spring by releasing its attachment to the fifth wheel casting lug. Then, with the lock partially open, Remove the cotter pin and the castellated nut on the release handle. Now remove the release handle. Next, remove the cotter pin on the castellated nut on the lock bar. Then remove the release arm and the lock bar. Now remove the circle ring securing the lock jaw spring and allow the extension spring to relax. Loosen the nut attaching the lubrication line to the casting and remove the lubrication line attached to the lock jaw. Slide the jam nut off the end of the lube line. Then, slide the lube line through the casting skirt. With all the parts removed, examine the structural ribs of the casting for cracks. If cracks are present, the top plate casting must be discarded. If there are no cracks, proceed as follows. If the top plate is off the truck, Use a suitable lifting device to turn the top plate face up. Now, using a 5 16 Allen wrench, remove the four cushion ring bolts that secure the cushion ring retainer. Then, using a large screwdriver, pry out the cushion ring retainer from the casting and remove the cushion ring. Thread one of the cushion ring bolts into the lock jaw pivot pin and lift the pin out of the casting. Remove the bolt from the pin. Now, remove the lock jaw by reaching under the top plate and sliding the lock out of the casting. Loosen the hex nut securing the adjustment screw and remove the adjustment screw and guide piece. Loosen the two hex head screws and lock washers that secure the release handle leaf spring and remove the leaf spring. Your Joe's top plate is now completely disassembled. Remember, the fifth wheel can be reassembled just as easily on or off the truck. Reassemble with any necessary new parts. 
Begin by replacing the release handle leaf spring. Install the adjustment screw guide piece with the threaded hole up. Thread the jam nut onto the adjustment screw and thread the adjustment screw through the guide piece. Install the lock into the casting in the same orientation it was removed. Lubricate the lock jaw pivot pin and secure the lock jaw by inserting the pivot pin into the casting and through the pivot slot in the lock jaw. Remove the cushion ring bolt from the pivot pin, then install the cushion ring and cushion ring retainer, making sure to carefully line up the bolt holes. Install four new cushion ring bolts, tighten and torque to 35 foot-pounds. Using a suitable lifting device, flip the top plate over onto a table. Install the lube line through the casting skirt, through the jam nut, and into the lock jaw. Tighten the fitting finger tight. Then, using a wrench, tighten securely. Secure the line to the casting rib. Extend the lock spring and install the end of the eye bolt through the hole in the casting rib. Secure the eye bolt using the circle ring. Lubricate the lock bar pivot bolt and slide it through the lock bar as shown. Now lubricate the edges of the lock bar. Insert the lock bar into the slot in the casting. Slide the release handle through the casting. With the release handle in position, slide the release handle pivot bolt up through the bottom of the release handle. Lubricate the pivots thoroughly. Slide the chamfered end of the release arm through the slot provided in the ramp of the casting. Swing the release arm down over the lock bar bolt and release arm bolt. Install the flat washer and castellated nut on the release handle. Tighten the release handle nut finger tight, then back off one half to one turn and install a cotter pin in this position. Make sure the pin is adequately secured. Install the washer and castellated nut on the lock bar until you can just insert the cotter pin. Now install the cotter pin, making sure the pin is adequately secured. Close the locking mechanism by swinging the lock jaw to the closed position. Then push the release handle to the closed position. Install the double tension spring up through the release handle tab. Using a suitable tool, secure the opposite end onto the casting lug by extending it and sliding the open coils onto the lug. Exercise extreme caution while doing this. With the fifth wheel reassembled, it is time to properly adjust the lock. Back off the adjustment screw until it is free, five to 10 turns. Lock the fifth wheel using a kingpin table or a lock tester. Turn the screw until it contacts the lock bar. With your hand on the release arm, turn the adjustment screw clockwise, tightening it until you feel the arm move. Then turn an additional one and one half turns and set the jam nut. Check this adjustment by locking and unlocking the fifth wheel several times. You should use only a kingpin table or a lock tester. Do not use any other device. If the fifth wheel locks and unlocks easily each time, the rebuild procedure is complete. If it is too tight, loosen the jam nut, turn the adjustment screw clockwise one full turn, and reset the jam nut. Lock and unlock the fifth wheel several times to make sure it's properly adjusted. Before putting the top plate back on the tractor, liberally grease the pivot bracket collars to help hold them in place. If, after rebuilding and properly adjusting your fifth wheel, you experience problems, review the troubleshooting hints in the rebuild section of your manual. Or, if problems continue, contact Joost for assistance. Easy operation, easy repair. The Joost fifth wheel the only fifth wheel that can be rebuilt on or off the vehicle. Jost fifth wheels. The reasons are simple.